folks, Andre Harrison here again, and I'm the kind of guy who loves surprises, and here's one of them, a second top five every week right here on Race World TV. For those who are new to me, you may not know I'm a keen gamer over on the Harrison 101 HD YouTube channel where I talk motorsports and play a ton of other racing games, past and present, so why not share some of that over here too? In this bonus top 5, I'm going to break down my 5 favourite current gen racing games that have been released on the Xbox One or PS4 so far. Bear in mind, PC doesn't count, so Assetto Corsa fans, bear with me on this one. In the meantime, here's my top 5 current gen racers, right here on Raceworld TV. It had quite the rocky road from development delays to a criticised launch, but you have to give credit where it's due to Evolution Studios. They have continued supporting Drive Club way beyond the average developer, even over a year after its initial October 2014 release. The game was a bit of a mess to begin with, but through updates and solid DLC edition cars that fans love like the Ferrari FXXK and the McLaren P1 GTR, and most recently with the addition of bikes, Drive Club now makes for a solid value racing game on the PlayStation 4 with its solid visuals and fun arcade style of play. I feel that Drive Club is a nice modern day spiritual successor to what Project Gotham Racing left behind. If you passed on it originally, it may, it may now be worth another look. Number 4 is MotoGP 15, a seriously underlooked bike game and third in the series from Milestone Italy and the second game on current gen, and it nails the difficulty and challenge of riding 240 brake horsepower racing bikes. With all of the 2014 and 15 rosters on tap, as well as the support series of Moto2, Moto3, Classic 2 Strokes, 4 Strokes and the Red Bull Rookies Cup, you have everything to cater to the biking audience out there. The bikes are incredibly fun to ride, the handling model is superb, and while the game isn't the best technically, there's plenty to keep you busy, like the enhanced career mode of the ability to run your own private team, an exciting scenario mode to replicate the real moments of seasons prior, and online multiplayer modes such as seasonal play a la FIFA and split timing challenges. MotoGP 15 is a brilliant overall biking game, one of the best ever for its kind, and if you're a racing game fan, it deserves a spot in your collection. Number 3, Project Cars. Another game that had a tricky launch but slightly mad studio's much publicised crowdfunder extraordinaire Project Cars keeps getting better with age, and is one for the real hardcore players. I often call it the Pandora's box of racing games. While the car selection is a little on the slim side, the possibilities with weather, classes of racing and the incredible selection of tracks like Zolda, Imola, and even the more obscure selections like Snetterton and Alton Park are awesome additions and the possibilities are near endless. The freestyle nature of the game's career can have you racing whatever you want, however you want, from the bottom level of karting right up to the technical marvels of the World Endurance Championship. And while it's not the easiest game to pick up and play, the reward if you stick at it is superb and the game features the best graphical package for a racing game I've seen since these consoles were unveiled. Project Cars is definitely a make-your-own-fun kind of experience, but one you have to have if you're a racing game fan right now. To celebrate 10 years of the Forza franchise, Turn 10's latest in the series, Forza Motorsport 6, is a masterpiece. Over 450 cars and a wonderful selection of old and new, from Formula 1 to Honda Civics, from Bugatti Veyron, Super Sports to Alan Prost's championship winning McLaren MP4, it is a wonderful collection. The gameplay is at a crisp 1080p and 60 frames, the graphical detail is incredible, some of the best wet weather and rain physics I've ever played in a racing game, and with odes to motorsport disciplines like autocross, endurance racing, and high speed chases against Top Gear's own Stig. Well, it's Digital Cousin anyway. And the funniest thing about it, it isn't even the best Forza game on this list. In the words of Yoda, there is another. Forza 6 is a little on the stuffy side. Forza Horizon 2 is when Forza lets its hair down and goes out partying with the lads on the half-turn weekend with some cheeky Nandos involved. Forza 2 isn't the technical juggernaut that 6 is, but it exchanges it for sheer fun. 
The backdrops of Europe are a sight to behold. The selection of cars is again superb. Seriously, no one does this better than the Forza games. And the amount of brilliant roads and fun you can have on your own or with friends, taking road trips, playing tag, sharing tuning setups, designing incredible liveries, drifting in cargo bays or drag racing in Alpha Stradales at 250 miles an hour. There is literally something in this game that everyone can enjoy. And I think if you own an Xbox One, this is a must own to have in your library. Why are you still listening to me? Go buy this game. And if you haven't done it yet, go buy an Xbox One, then buy this game. Thank me later. Did I get this list right? Any other suggestions for racing games you like on the Xbox or PS4? Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And until next time, I've been Andre Harrison, and thanks for watching.